Good morning. Happy Palm Sunday. So this service is a little, at times, uh, convoluted. It doesn't always go quite as smoothly as, as we'd like, uh, but it's for good reason. We're going to, at 1030, go outside and join our neighbors from St. Pat's for the blessing of the palms. However, if there are some folks in here that want to stay inside, um, maybe it might be difficult for you to get out or whatever, uh, you're welcome to stay inside, and Lauren will do a blessing of the palms with you in here. So uh, don't feel bad if you, if you stay in here. I can understand that. Um, so here's, um, here's like how we're going to do things. As I said, those who wish to stay inside can stay inside, and Lauren will have a prayer with you. Then when the outside service is finished, we're going to come back in, and we're kind of going to do it like, like a parade. We're going to come back in through the front doors, right? And then you're going to come down and veer off and go back to your seats. And all the while, excitedly shaking your palms, because this is the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. And, and we're, we're cheering them on. We're going, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. So come on in, shake your palms, wave them, whatever word works best for you. And then we're going to go break off, OK? Also, uh, I know this might crush you, but we may not be able to get to the sermon today because <laughs> It's, it's great to know when you're loved. <laughs> um, the reason I say that is we have some wooden crosses. And what I'm going to ask is that after all the readings, when it comes time for the sermon, I'm going to ask you to come up front. We'll have myself and two deacons, and we're going to take a little wooden cross and bless it and give it to you. So... Um, it would be wonderful to have you participate in that. Um, if, you, if I didn't get to you with palms, on the way out, Lauren will make sure that you have a palm. Do you all know who Lauren is? See that person back there? She's waving her hand. Um, Lauren, will be, Lauren is there with extra palms, so we can all, all have one or two. Um, all right. so. That's it for today. Now, this upcoming week, we have Monday Thursday service. And does anybody know the meaning of Monday? No. Okay. Monday Thursday, uh, or Monday, represents washing the feet of the poor. And that's what Jesus is doing with his disciples um, as he gets together with them for the Last Supper. He washes their feet. Um, and that shows a sign of servitude, regardless of your station in life. We're supposed to serve our neighbors, and especially those that are less fortunate than us. So that's something to keep in mind when, when Thursday comes about. On Easter, at 6 o'clock, we will have a service over in the old burial grounds. Hopefully the sun will come up by the time we're done. At 8.30, we'll have a service in here. And then 10 o'clock, we'll have another service here. So if you can make one of those, it would be great to see you. Does anybody have any announcements that they want to share? Wait a minute. Steph, I, I knew this one, and I forgot it. OK. So yesterday, we had our bowling tournament. My husband got his gold medal on. He was bowling yesterday, which he was great. Got strikes after strike after strike. And God was with us, and I just want to share that with you guys. And my husband's right there. And he's yeah. Now, I heard, I heard that Sean got three strikes in a row in your last frame. Yep. 
Talk about pressure, and there he goes. Three strikes in a row. Awesome for you. Um, I, Kathy? There's food downstairs? Okay. Food downstairs from the breakfast. Um, Pam? All right, that's awesome. Um, Lisa. That's, and that is good, that is good. Um, thank, thank you to all those who worked so hard, our deacons and our chefs extraordinaire, as I mentioned earlier. Thank you for all your hard work to make the breakfast successful and welcoming. Okay, did I forget anything? I, I have Kareen. Okay, so there's coffee hour for those of you that can make it. Anyone else? Okay. So, I'm lighting our celebration candle in recognition of the joy of this Palm Sunday, of, of Jesus coming in. Um, it's also getting ready for Passover, which is a great celebration for the Jewish people. So um, I'm lighting our candle in, in gratitude that, that Jesus continues his mission even though he probably understands he's in the last week of his life. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us bring each other with the passing of the peace of Christ. Let us join together. Let us join together in this morning's call to worship. Blessed are those who delight in worship. Blessed are the ones who come in God's name. Give thanks to God, all who assemble here. God's steadfast love endures forever. Let all who follow Christ sing God's praise. Because of God's help, we are not disgraced. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it.
You may be seated. On behalf of the uh, Outreach and Mission Committee, I'd like to thank everybody for your donations. Again, as Lisa said, we're serving food to 10 families in the community. Please join me in the community prayer, prayer of blessing for the gifts. God of the poor, God of the wealthy, God of us all, we come today offering these gifts to your children who need a helping hand. We know that at any given point, we ourselves may need to call upon your name. We will all face adversity in one fashion or another in our lifetimes. So we ask that you bless these gifts to those who would otherwise be without. And may they know that this came to them by way of their loving brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Let us join together in our prayer of invocation. This is your day, holy God. Every day belongs to you. We would empty ourselves before you so that there will be room for your entrance into our minds and hearts. Our times are in your hands. This precious gift of life is ours, in trust from you. We give thanks for your steadfast love endures forever. That love expressed in the life of Jesus dared to challenge those centers of power that live by other standards. We come to declare that love today. Reign among us, we pray. Make yourself known among us as we unite in prayer to you saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. For thine is the kingdom, the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So we're running 10 minutes early by the looks of it. So we will go right to our Old Testament reading. Good morning. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His love is eternal. Let the people of Israel say, his love is eternal. Open to me the gates of the temple. I will go in and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. Only the righteous can come in. I praise you, Lord, because you hear me, because you have given me victory. The stone which the builders rejected are worthless turned out to be the most important of all. This was done by the Lord. What a wonderful sight it is. This is the day the Lord's victory. Let us be happy, let us celebrate. Save us, Lord, save us. Give us success, O Lord. May God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. From the temple of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God. He has been good to us. With branches in your hands, start this festival and march around the altar. You are my God, and I give you thanks. I will pro proclaim your good greatness. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good and his love is eternal. A reading from the book of Psalms.
do have prayers to share with you. <clears throat> prayers for Harry Novell, who passed away in Florida. That's uh, Jenny's brother. And prayers for the Novell family. Sean recovering from a concussion. Steph, Sean, and Cameron, and Curtis winning gold for Special Olympics for their bowling. Uh, for the troubles in Gaza and Ukraine and Moscow. All those hurt in Moscow. Pam, you do write like a doctor. Um, for Frank Gamaldi. Okay. Yes. Okay. And again, prayers for Rose, and I'm sorry about that. Um, I'd also ask that we remember um, Rita Stearns in our prayers. Rita um, ran into a problem. She's having a tough go of it. She ran into a problem with the uh, AFib, and she's back in the hospital. She asked that we keep a palm out for her so she can have that. Um, Let's see, so uh, Ann Cordes, of course, who uh, is such an important part of this, this town, this community in this town. Also, prayers for Steffi Plant, that uh, she continue her healing, um, and that they both undergo their treatments um, with uh, the least side effects as that possible. Let's come together in a spirit of prayer. Almighty God, your son came to us humbly on a donkey's back, and now he sits exalted by your right hand. As we enter into Holy Week contemplating his path of suffering, help us to become loyal and faithful disciples, that we may always hear his word, follow his teachings, and live in his spirit, and prepare our hearts for that day when every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that he is your son, our Messiah, and that it is by his hand we shall be led to your eternal glory. We ask that you hear the silent prayers of our hearts and minds. Loving God, we come before you as your people, that we recognize the path that your son has taken for all of us. We are all sinners in one fashion or another, some very slight and others more dramatic, but you love and forgive us and for that we are grateful. Bless this congregation, we ask, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us join together in our church's mission statement. Our church exists to cultivate the love of God and our community, to build a deep conviction that we are all beloved, valued people of worth, who are devoted to following Jesus and doing God's work. We welcome and seek Christ's living presence in our town and beyond. Our church is a place of worship, inspiration, learning, and discovery. We serve our community and are the arms, hands, and voice of God's love. Nobody's out there, right? <laughs> Not yet? One person. Prayers for Katie? Haiti. Oh, Haiti. Haiti, yes. Okay. Um, I think we have time to do our offering. So uh, this morning's offerings will now be received.
Our friends are gathering, so we will do our offertory prayer of thanksgiving when we come back in. <laughs> so remember, if you didn't get a palm, one of the deacons should be out there to give you one, or should be in the back of the church to give you one. On this Palm Sunday, Lord, help us to be as fascinated with Christ as those who hailed him long ago. Let us pray. Lord, increase the faith of your people and listen to our prayers. Today we honor Christ, our triumphant King, by carrying these palms. May we honor you every day by faithfully following him who lives and reigns forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus and his disciples drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethpage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately on entering it, you will find a colt tethered on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone should say to you, why are you doing this, reply, 
The master has need of it and will send it back here at once. So they went off and found a colt tethered at a gate outside the street and they untied it. Some of the bystanders said to them, what are you doing untying the colt? They answered them just as Jesus had told them to and they permitted them to do it. So they brought the colt to Jesus and put their cloaks over it and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. Those preceding him as well as those following him kept crying out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Hosanna in the highest. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the fun part that we're missing outside, where everybody gets wet. So we'll just end, uh, go in peace, and may the peace of God go with all of us, amen.
one. Yes. Thank you, Hans. Let us join together in our offertory prayer of thanksgiving. What you have done for us is marvelous in our eyes, gracious God. Our gifts can never match your goodness towards us, your saving grace, your healing light, your personal sacrifice are so far beyond our imagining. We can only offer ourselves all we have been all we are in response to the coming of Christ Jesus. Hosanna in the highest, Receive, O oh God, our humble service. Amen. The next day, the large crowd that had come to the Passover festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went to meet him, shouting, Praise God. God bless him who comes in the name of the Lord. God bless the King of Israel. Jesus found a donkey and rode on it, just as the scripture says. Don't be afraid, city of Zion. Here comes your king, riding on a young donkey. His disciples did not understand this at the time, but when Jesus had been raised to glory, they remembered that the script, what the scripture had said about him and that they had done this for him. A reading from the gospel according to John. Okay, can I get my two volunteer deacons?
well, we have five minutes, but we'll let you go early today. <laughs> but I, I thank you for participating in this service. It's one of the most joyful things when we get to share it with our neighbors. Um, because we are one. We are all part of the body of Christ. Um, and let us remember that throughout our daily living. So Hans, if you can go to our hymn of dedication, I would appreciate that. Be strong and bold, have no fear, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will never fail you or forsake you. Go in peace as the service of worship comes to an end. Our service to one another now begins. Amen. Amen. Don't forget coffee downstairs. <laughs> I've got a meeting after church.